Okay, this is Yen here, and we're going to do a little bit of play with the airway. This is a uh, mannequin that I got from my good friend Jim Ducanto. It's got these uh, bags in it which you can blow up in various parts stuck into the Liridol mannequin. And I've fully inflated them just to make a bit more of a challenging airway. And we're going to practice playing with some hyperangulated tube deliveries using my CMAC. Hopefully you'll be able to see the screen here. I'm going to have to play around with the camera angle here. Alright, so we're going to introduce the blade in. Look at the mouth. Look at the screen over here. You can see it a bit. And we're going to do a bit of, there's the back of the tongue, you don't see that yet, but here we go. Sorry about the bad angle. Back of the tongue right there. So we're going to follow the midline until we see the tip of the epiglottis right there. And then we're going to try to get into the vallecula and it's going to be challenging a bit of external laryngeal manipulation change the angle of this so you can actually see it bit of external laryngeal manipulation oh there we got a good view right there okay make it so that you can see that bit of glare there okay so my first approach will be with a new Portex Fuji Go get that view again. So you can see the tip of the epiglottis there. Move into the vallecula. Get right in there. Try to get into the engage the hyoepiglottic ligament bit of external range of manipulation and I'll get a good view. Okay, it's pretty hyperangulated. And what I'm gonna do if you look down here. Is I'm gonna try to follow the curve of the blade and see if I can get this up there. And I just can't quite get the bougie to negotiate that curve because it's hyperangulated. I could try a right paraglossal approach. It's a much more shallower angle and you can see how I can almost make it with this. Now maybe with a bit of external range of manipulation, downward pressure might be able to get it. But uh Right paraglossal approach. Oh, I can just barely almost make it, but just cannot quite get there. Contrast that with the pocket bougie, which has a natural curve. So I'll show you the LTA stylet too. Again, it just can't quite make it there, even from a right paraglossal approach. Just doesn't have enough curve. So with the pocket bougie, I like to hold it like this. You can see that it's a little bit stiffer. And you notice that with a little bit of 
proximal pressure here, I'm able to actually just lift it up. Just get it where I need to go. Compare that with the Frova. Portex is the same way. That proximal pressure just does not translate into me being able to get it up there. See, I'm using this finger here versus the pocket bougie. So you have to use it as a curve here. Come in like this, follow the curve. The natural curve allows it to go in. If you're in trouble and it was down here, couldn't quite get it, just a bit of pressure like this. You can see it actually nicely moves up. The other advantage of the pocket bougie is that you could put a nice bend on it like this. It actually holds it and then you can easily pass it through. Frova and Portex is similar. I can put a super bend on it, sure. But let's see if it lasts. Doesn't last for very long, but if I'm quick, I'll be able to get it in. The other trick that I found is that if you hyper curl it before going in, like this, get into your good position, external laryngeal manipulation, and then when you're ready to go, just open it up. It'll keep its curved shape for a little bit which allows you to get into that hyperangulated airway, lock it down, get your tube on, and pass your tube, whoops, came out. But as you see, I came out, oh, I can just barely fit it through there. It's not lubricated, so it's going to be hard to pass. Pocket bougie, on the other hand, just a little bit easier to manipulate. And let's put it in that D grip maneuver. Once again, I see the tip of the epiglottis right there. You guys can just barely see that. Get into the vallecula, bit of external range of manipulation. Bring my D grip in, manipulate it to get it right in there. Release my D grip, pass my tube down. Check my position, tube out, and then we're good to go.